Here's your Giselle Auto News update for November 15th. And our first story today is Karma Automotive showed off their uh, first new concept in quite a while called the Kavea Coupe. And they're outlining some future plans on uh, kind of what that car is going to be about, including a thousand horsepower. And they're saying at least 250 miles on a charge. Um, this is kind of their, their first big vehicle since the uh, the Karma Rivero um, and like later editions like the GS6. Um, so yep. I was looking at the car earlier and I think it looks really cool. Um, it's like a very like modern, futuristic vibe. Um, I don't know much about the brand itself, but I mean, in terms of look, I think it's very sleek. And I think it's going into the direction where every car company is going towards. I feel like everyone's trying to like get that very future uh, futuristic esque but they did a good job, I think. And the color looks really nice too. Well, considering like what options they have, obviously, but in terms of the new one, it looks pretty cool. And Rivian will now sell you its electric cargo van, uh, even if you're not Amazon, uh, with the price is starting at around $83,000 with about 150 miles of range. Um, and these kind of have a lot of features specifically designed for kind of doing local deliveries. So maybe not something average consumer would want, but. Um, I don't know. I mean, I remember seeing like, yeah, I know. Uh, I remember seeing the Amazon trucks swing by and I thought they were really cool. And like when I saw them, I did want to like, I don't know, I was intrigued. So I looked in like, I looked up interior videos on TikTok. And has a lot of really cool features. Like it's very, very, very high tech. Like the doors like slide open to the side. But I think it's a cool alternative to like tiny home living, um, because you know rent's getting so high, or like camping. But I think um, I think it's a good option because I know like Mercedes has like their version of a big one, but Rivian's version I think will be pretty cool, maybe successful, just because it's it's also hybrid, right? I think I don't know if it's or electric, fully electric. Yeah, fully electric, but, and they're yeah. actually using um, a different battery chemistry called lithium iron phosphate that. Should mean the battery should last a longer, even if the car can't go quite as far. Um, they should, you know, last, you know, easily a decade. And Toyota unveiled a new Crown sedan that unfortunately we won't be getting in the United States, but this one a little bit bigger than the one we get in the U.S. And it's actually rear wheel drive, um, which is kind of something unique um, and we haven't seen from Toyota in quite some time. Um, I think it's very luxurious, like both inside and, and like outside. So like it complements the exterior and interior. Um, but honestly, like. Just speaking of the body, maybe it's just me. I, I feel like it gives me the body of a Porsche. I mean, it looks really cool. That, that's just what I'm trying to say. It's also very futuristic-y. Um, but um, I also like that they're offering it, not just with hybrid, but the hydrogen fuel cell um, powertrains. I don't know how that, that sounds pretty cool and more like safer and, you know, but um, I think that's really cool. That's a really great option. But I think it's also in terms of look, it looks great. I think it's really cool. Yeah, but it does suck we're not getting it here. And Ford has started to tease a new GT California Special Edition, which they've offered in the past, um, kind of dating back to the 60s, and they had one a few years ago as well. Um, probably just some, you know, some styling upgrades, maybe some unique kind of exterior and interior accents. Yeah, I, just show me it. Like I, I'm looking at the like the I guess like the tease, but it looks cool. I mean, I've always been impressed by the way these cars looked. I've always because you know they're just pretty cool in general. But we'll just I guess yeah, you're right. We'll see what direction it goes you know, towards in terms of like design and maybe like features, you know, we'll see how that goes. And Polestar has revealed the production version of their upcoming Polestar 5 flagship EV sedan. Um, and they're kind of trying to go against the Porsche Taycan with, um, you know, close to a thousand horsepower and um, a large kind of hundred over hundred watt, hundred kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, that's going to give it at least 300 miles of range. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I was actually looking into like, I guess, like what the difference would be between like this one and the Polestar 4, because the Polestar 4, 5, right? So um, they said like the biggest one would be like the rear window. I don't know what it'll be replaced with, but it it sounds... I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I like, think they're using like a camera system or something in, in the yeah. Polestar 5 to kind of give it a more sleek look. Yeah, but I mean, in terms, yeah, in terms of look, I think it looks really futuristic as well. Kind of reminds me of like a, a PS5. And it looks like Ford may be coming out with a new version of the Maverick soon, possibly called the Maverick Lobo. That'll kind of be a that will be a sportier version of uh, the Maverick, possibly kind of like their ST models that they have currently. Maybe a little bit more power, uh, you know, bigger wheels, better tires, things like that. Um, it is there. You said it's trying to mimic like the ford sport truck yeah or like is it trying i mean i i don't know if that's like an accurate thing to say or it's true um but um if that's true i think it would be different in terms of like design from like the way ford has been like approaching their like most recent trucks um but yeah i mean we'll see how that goes as well 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms, including Instagram, X, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so much more. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on here to know when we have a new video coming next. Have a good one.